Well, good afternoon, Sarah. It's so lovely to see you here at the Service Dealer Conference and Awards today. We're thrilled you could come over from the States. Um, you work for Bob Clements International. Could you tell us a bit about your role and what you do there? Sure. You know, so what my job is at Bob Clements International is I am over dealer development. So I work with our manufacturers to make sure that the programs that they're putting out for their dealers are effective for both them and for the dealers that they're servicing. But then I also do a lot of speaking, and so which brought me over here today. But I speak to dealers all across the country about how to actually have a life while they're having a business, a dealership, because sometimes it's a very hard thing for dealerships to find how to do that. Well, I could imagine. So, um, and we understand that the USA has one of the largest ground care and agriculture markets in the world. So um, we, we really enjoyed hearing your insights from a youth USA perspective. Um, when you're thinking about the next 30 years, which is what we're celebrating today, what do you think will be the opportunities for businesses in the sector in the US? Uh -huh. um, and how do you see those transferring to the UK market? Mm, that's a great question. You know, I think as we look over the next 30 years, like what we talked about today, we are going to be driven by data in every one of our departments. In our service department, we're going to be using telematics to look at what kind of usage equipment's having. In parts department, I think what we're going to see is drones delivering parts to our people over the next 30 years. And I think in sales, the biggest thing we're going to be struggling with over the next 30 years, and biggest opportunity, is the fact that by 2020, so not very far, we're going to have five different generations all working under one roof together. And it's going to create some challenges, but if we can understand how to embrace that properly, it's really going to move us into the future. But I think all three of those things are going to dramatically affect the U.S. market, but I see it coming to U.K. as well and really having a long-lasting impact. Okay, so brilliant. So the topic for your breakout session, which you said um, just now, was about succession. So a common theme for many of our agricultural and ground businesses here in the U.K. is that they are family businesses. So if you could give three top tips for succession <laughs> planning, what would they be? You know, the first one I would say, as we're talking about top tips for succession planning, the very first one is that the conversations that you have around the dinner table matter. You can't have a conversation with your kids and say how much you hate the margins that you're, the money you're making. You can't stand your employees and the dr customers drive you crazy and expect for them to actually want to engage with you in the business. And so many dealerships are doing that. So we've got to frame it in a very positive way. I think the other thing is communication and finding ways to constantly over communicate what the plan is. And I think the third thing is to find somebody who's a neutral party to come alongside you in the midst of the transition because it's an emotional thing. It, the businesses have become part of their family in so many ways. And so for them to transfer and really go through the succession planning process, it can be a really taxing thing. And to have somebody who's outside the loop with a much sort of clearer perspective on things is a great help. Absolutely. It? It's yeah. a game changer. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, we have been so pleased to have you here today and and to have your time and I really hope you've enjoyed it. It's Is there anything that was a particular highlight for you? Oh my gosh, I just thought you put on a wonderful conference. It's been just a pleasure to be here. I've loved the dealer's energy. I feel like everyone had great energy. They were excited to learn, excited to develop, and excited to take their business to that next level. And so for me, that was it. I just love being around dealers and seeing them truly succeed. And it seems like you've got a great group here. Yeah, I really hope. I think I think it's been fantastic. We've really loved seeing those people that have come today. And I hope that, you know, they'll go away and get more of them to come along Absolutely. next year. Absolutely. It, it's a fantastic event where they can learn a lot and get to hear from great people like oh, you. So well, thank you pleasure. so much for coming along. Well, thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs>